Hello friends and comrades, it's me, Sixtina Aquafina, and welcome back to Foundation and to our lovely coastal town. So last time we established this mining situation over here, we are essentially gathering stone and uh, preparing for the expansion of this castle. But while we're doing that, I also wanted to expand in this direction, and so this is what we're going to be doing today. I also want to make sure that we're producing some more beer, so hopefully we are going to redirect this road over here so that we can then start with some wheat production alongside this sort of semicircle crescent situation. And I also want to see what we're going to do with this area. So looks like we've got a lot of work cut out for ourselves. Uh, also, we're going to research a blueprint and let's go ahead and do that right now because otherwise I will forget. All right, we're going to study this blueprint. So I think um, what I want to do is I want to have um, a keep here and then also a keep over there at some point later when we expand. So I'm going to make a keep that sort of looks like a corner and this one's going to be a complementary corner. And that's that's kind of the idea for today. So let's see if we can make that happen. So I just want to face it sort of away. But this is going to be really tricky because this is a very sharp corner and I'm not really sure I'm going to succeed in making this look in any way decent. But let's see if we can do it. Oh, the Roman church. We've just unlocked the Roman church. Yes, that's great. Excellent. See, the problem I have with these is that they're very monotone in sort of the way that they look on one side. It's not really, it doesn't really lend itself to being decorated very nicely. Let's also add some flags, because you can never go wrong with some flags. Put in too many flags and it goes wrong with flags. That is my fate. Yeah, building on hills is always a struggle. Like, that's clearly not symmetrical. But you know what? We gotta accept it. I think it, I, I think it kind of works. It kind of works, right? I mean, there's not really much you can do with the fort, so I'm pretty pleased with it. And let's go ahead and, or the keep. Sorry, I keep calling it a fort, and I shouldn't be, because it isn't that. Let's hope they're still able to get to the lumber camp. That's the real question. All right, let's speed up the game now that that's happening. Oh, let's also come up with a wall. So, I want to actually extend the living situation here. So, we're just gonna see if we can do maybe something like this. But then, wait, no, probably not on the outside, right? Might want to do it. What if we just do something like that for now like this i mean i like what we've got i like what's happening i don't hate it now that we've made that wall we can just remove this forbidden land hope they don't do something silly with that and extend this here and actually you know how i said i don't want that lumber camp to be inconvenienced. I do want that lumber camp to be inconvenienced. I want to put the lumber camp outside. But where? Hold on. Give me your thing again. Okay. So maybe lumber camp can go over here? Uh, I don't know. That might still be subject to change. Lumber camps, I keep moving them around. They don't really have a lot of luck, do they? Um, so yeah, let's, let's move that. And I mean, the hunter could also be outside. I don't think the hunter has a negative. Oh, it does have a negative radius. Okay, hunter. Um, you're just also gonna be sort of on the outside. Oh, see, someone's already moving in. That's great. Also, let's clean this edge up a little bit. Lovely. And what if we just dropped a fountain into the thing? I don't think that's a fountain worthy thing. Uh, for now, I just want to put some, maybe a knight statue doesn't 
look too out of place. You know, it is a military building. So let's just put a knight statue right here? Sure, you know what? Sure. This is fine, dot com. Alright, so that's happening. I am enjoying that this road, this one seems to be disappearing. This one seems to be getting used. Do we have any unemployed people? Oh, we surely do, honey. We surely do. Alright, cool. That means that we are going to have people living here soon. We could actually even shove a granary in here. So let's just put it, let's just put it like this. Sure, why not? Why not? Uh, right, so what I was gonna say is, let's plan this out a little bit over here. Let's think about what we want to do with our lives. So I do like the idea of there maybe being more farms here. Obviously I can't draw over there right now. And then maybe on this rigid thing there could just be a forest and this could just be a big forest that we use for hunting boars and that's just you know it's just kind of like this is where we preserve <laughs> the <laughs> natural life um so we're gonna after this road gets established and this one disappears a little bit we're gonna put a little forester here actually we probably could do already we could do that already so let's just do that so let's do Forester. Where is Forester? Forester camp. All right, so let's put this Forester, um, you know what, just here. I don't know if that's gonna be able to reach the inside there. Maybe I'll make another Forester just slightly further out. Just like, at first you are further out and then you're gonna be demolished. This is fine, this is a normal thing to build. Let's check in on our military. Oh, they're all mostly fine. Let's just wait for those two wounded people to not be wounded anymore, and then we can send them on another mission, if there will be one. You know how that is, it's not always there. Look at how much cheese we have. That's amazing. Cheese Louise. Hunter's hut is complete. I think the hunter will find his own way here, so I don't, yeah. He auto assigns, which is really nice. It's one of my favorite features that I didn't know about. Um, ooh, more serfs. Yes, sir. Alright, do we have a villager? We surely do. We do, we do, we do. Alright, so this is gonna be a mixed forest here, and we are just gonna reforest. I just wanna temporarily reduce this and add this. And on this side we can be a little bit wilder. If we need to shrink it at any time, we can always shrink it. But I do like um, just the idea of reforesting for now. Okay, let's take a look at what we've created. I mean, I'm not a tremendous fan and I feel like maybe I've made it too tall, but... We'll see. Oh, we're gonna get some bad weather. That's perfect. Perfect timing. Has the road here been cleared? Okay, it has. Let's see if now this is enough for someone to live here. Please be enough for someone to live here. If you want, I will even give you a knight statue right there Wait, why is there a wall mo missing here sometimes walls just go missing like what's happened here i never removed a wall here but it's just missing okay i have restored the wall Although I guess that's not something people usually celebrate, the restoration of walls. Usually they celebrate the breaking down of walls. Okay, our soldiers are fully healed. Let's send them on another extremely difficult mission. Although I think we've already unlocked everything we could, right? There was the two churches. 
And the statue. Was there anything else? I guess we'll see. We'll keep sending them on these missions. I mean, these missions are fine too because we get jewelry. Once they're all fully trained, we can send them on a bunch of difficult missions at the same time and we can get a lot of jewelry. Which should also help with our um, luxury item deficit. Also, one thing I'm noticing is that our clothes are falling down a little bit, so we are gonna also have to establish new sheep. And I think we're gonna establish them on the other side now, because I think we've kind of filled this up. I don't think any more sheep would look very nice here. More people are lacking church. If we stick this in here, will they be able to walk past it? Just want to make sure that they can walk past here. They can walk around here. I think they'll be able to do it. Otherwise, they'll just have to go around. Like, they, there's a way up and there's a way down. So, should be fine. Let's just break this up a little bit with some doors. Mm. So, once again, I don't want this to have the actual effect of a church. Like, visually, I don't want it to look like a church. I want it to look more like it's just some fancy building. And what kind of a fancy building we can just imagine. Maybe it's a tavern. Maybe it's some kind of office. Maybe it's a manor. But I just don't want it to have, like, church vibes. Even though I just gave it a little bit of church vibes with that decoration there. But... The reason that I don't want it to have church vibes is because I want that ch church to really be like, oh, we are the only church in the vicinity, even though, in reality, that is not the case. Maybe this is like a school? Oh yeah, a school, that could work. Yeah, I feel like this could very easily be a school. Yeah, we're gonna say this is the school. We're just gonna start construction. Okay, how goes the reforestation here? And on this side, I think we'll be able to deforest some of it. I think the problem is that, like, this person is going to make this forest really thick and they're not going to be able to get out there, so... Let's just hope that they, they manage. So let's just do that. And that road has almost completely disappeared, so let's start talking about wheat farms. I mean, right now is not the best time because of the rain, but, you know. I'm just gonna go all out. And by all out, I mean that we are going to go with... Actually, I think, you know what? It's not gonna look weird if we just go... Oh, why did I do that? If they're all facing the same way. It might look nice. It might look planned. Charge! But yeah, we're gonna go all out with three farms. I may have placed them a little bit too close to each other, but we're gonna see. Okay, so what I'm thinking after this... Oh, let's maybe remove that. After this is reforested... We might actually go along this, like, top of the ridge with actually some buildings. So the forest will probably be more down here. And we might break through it here. And we could have houses. And then farms on this side. There's a little forest here. And then farms on this side. And then a settlement inside of this little thing. Yeah, that's kind of the current vibe I'm going for. I'm thinking of going for, so we'll see. So potentially this wall won't actually go inside, but it'll go out and in like a little sort of oblong outer blob. Have you guys? Oh no, you guys have not done what I wanted you to do. I guess we are doomed to not have anyone live there. Which is a shame. I mean, I'm pretty pleased that someone actually wanted to live in here. Which is good. Um, but yeah. We are doomed. We're gonna have to do something. We're gonna have to find a place for people to live. 
Which is going to be difficult because this is packed. It is packed. <gasps> Our school is complete. Um, we're going to call it. The Not a Church School for Gifted Children. I like it. Also, how much do various hunters block each other? Like, if I make another hunter's hut here, will they just produce twice as much? Or do they do have some kind of... Like, oh no, we can't have too many hunters in the same area because they hunt each other's stuff. Also, that autosave moved my hunter's hut from where I wanted to have it. Alright, so we have three wheat farms here and we are going to paint these fields and then I think we're probably going to be done. Hi, this is Lelling from the editing room. I didn't know whether to leave this bit in or not, so I wasn't really talking while I was doing it. So I have nothing to put here. So I'm just talking. I don't know. I don't know whether to leave these in or not. They're nice. I like them because I like the process of the painting and I think when it's sped up it kind of looks nice. But I don't really know if other people do. I could have just skipped it and been like, I'm gonna paint now. And then in the end I would have been like, and now it's done. And you know, just cut everything in the middle. I don't know. What do you think? Alright, there we are. Those are our three new farms and hopefully they're going to be able to produce enough to support at least two, a couple more brewers, one or two, plus some more for actually making various breads. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's going to be nice. Uh, let's actually find a place for a brewer. I don't want to put any more in there because, oh my god, are we running out of space. So let's find, um, let's find a nice place for this brewer. We do have one over here, so we could potentially, like, stick one in somewhere similarly. Although we could also just look for a place like this, which can't really take anything else. But with the brewer, I have noticed that you need both of these spots accessible. So if we don't make them both accessible, they will be upset with us. What's the entry points for this granary? Let's just check. Can we stick this brewery in here? Oh, it's gonna be tight over there by that house, but I think it's gonna work. And we can just make this wall take a little dip. I mean, with this wall, it is easy now because there is that forest and so it's kind of hard to see if anything's taken a weird detour. From this side it obviously is going to look a little bit strange, but from the outer side the forest really masks any kind of problems. So let's just hope that that brewer is going to be accessible. And let's hope that that's going to be enough beer. I think really the thing that's taking up a lot of our beer is probably not even the citizens, it's the soldiers, because I think we have like, we have four knights and I think that like, soldiers already take luxury items. Knights take two luxury items. So, we are definitely going to need to start producing other luxury items as well. So that means, at some point, we are going to have to start thinking about a monastery. Which I still don't know where we're going to put. We could have put it in here that we've now decided to put a forest. Also, I think this is now thick enough for me to start reforesting the rest and we're just going to tell this place to get destroyed and we are going to assign these and we're going to reforest this entire area I'm gonna remove the extraction zone I'm gonna increase the reforestation 
And then once that's done, we can also turn all of this forest, hopefully, to hunting grounds. I don't know if it actually there's a rule that reforested forests don't count as hunting grounds. I hope there isn't one like that. Um, but yeah, that's that. Honestly, if nobody wants to live here, might just assign another brewer. Ah! Good. I was just about to say that I really don't appreciate the rain and that I want to at least play until it ends. But yeah, that's good. I didn't want to have the rain the next video as well. But yeah, I think that's going to be actually it for today. We uh, kind of did a lot. We added this new keep. We added all those farms in the back. We reforested that area. And we made that big school. I would say that's quite a lot of work that we just did. In relatively short time I feel. I feel like I usually take a lot more time to get a lot less done. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to do all the things that you do when you've enjoyed a video. And you can also check out some of the stuff on screen. I mostly play city builders and management games. If you're interested in something slightly different, uh, my friend Yudai and I are currently playing through an Imperator Rome playthrough. If you're interested in the time when we've already kind of hit our stride and are trying some new fun stuff, then I would recommend starting with episode 14, because episode 1 was kind of at the very start of our just adventures on YouTube. So 14 is a good start because we had a big three month break in between and so if you're interested check it out. It's cool I think. I don't know. I It's it's a lot of fun. Whether you check that out or not I hope you have a lovely rest of your week or see you tomorrow. Either way thanks for watching. Goodbye.